Good morning, Calvary. Great to have you tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. You know, we've been going through the book and the story of Exodus as, as God is working to free his people from captivity in Egypt. And to catch you up to, to speed, uh, Moses, who uh, looked to be the great hero of the story, had made some mistakes. He's in the wilderness, kind of running from his past and potentially even running from God when he hears from God and speaks to him out of a burning bush. Now, God is at work here to call Moses to go back to Egypt and be his messenger and representative and get the people out of captivity. But Moses, well, he has some excuses and you've heard, uh, if you've been watching these episodes, you've heard uh, how that went for him. Now, finally, Moses submits and he goes back to head back to Egypt. And I want to pick up uh, with that in verse 27 of chapter 4. Um, and in, it says, the Lord said to Aaron, which is Moses' brother, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went and met him at the mountain of God and greeted him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord, which he had sent him to speak and all the signs that he had commanded him to do. Then Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the people of Israel. Aaron spoke all the words that the Lord had spoken to Moses and did the signs in the sight of the people and the people believed. And when they heard what, that the Lord had visited the people of Israel and he had seen their affliction, they bowed their heads and they worshiped. So there, there's, there's several things that I, I want us to, to grasp out of this. See, when you, we go back and see Moses' interaction with the Lord at the burning bush, we see that he didn't believe that the people would welcome him back, that they would believe that God had called them and he was at work. And God continued to reassure him and say, Moses, you will believe. I'll give you signs. I'll give you things for them to believe. And he continued to doubt God at his word. But when he goes and he goes before the people, he says the people believed. And their response was to worship God for what they had seen and experienced there. See, Moses had created all this doubt and all this questioning and really doubted who God was at his very word, and yet he got to see God's word come true right in front of his own very eyes. But the other thing I want to notice, uh, us to notice there is, is really the, the people, the, the elders, the leaders of Israel, as they're struggling, they're in captivity, they're weary and broken. You can see from, from reading through the story of Exodus, and in that moment, they see God at work. They see God at work through, through Aaron and Moses and the fact that God has a plan for them, a plan for their hope and their future, and their response to that is to worship. See, I think that both sides of this story are applicable to us. There's often times that God speaks into our life and he gives us instructions and he gives us promises and he gives us hope that we question him at his word because we manufacture our own doubts and hesitations. And sometimes we just need to believe God at his word. In fact, not sometimes, always need to submit and believe that God is truthful and good in our life. And oftentimes, like Moses here, when we say, okay, God, I don't know about this, but I'm going to trust you then we get to see that come true right in front of our own eyes. But on the other side, are we going to be like the people? When we actually do see God at work, when, when we see God moving and working in our life, when, when things come up that, that there's no explanation except for God being at work in our life, will we say, oh, it's just a coincidence, oh, that's just good luck? Or will we say, man, God is at work. I'm going to be like the elders of Israel here, and I'm going to bow down and worship God because he is good and he's real in my life and he's active in my situation because that's the truth of it. And when we admit that, that God is, is truthful and we recognize when God is at work and we worship him, we get to be in, in a very real and amazing presence with him in that and get to experience the joy of, of seeing and experiencing God at work in our life. So today... I hope that you believe God. Even when it's hard, even when you've got doubts and questions, I pray that you believe God at his word. And I pray that you see him at work in your life and you worship him as a result. We'll see you next time, Calvary.